Hi guys, I'm Ben and welcome to my drum tuning tutorial. In this video, I'll show you three variations of how to tune your drums. So remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications bell. To start this drum tuning tutorial, do make sure your drum heads are seated evenly on the bearing edge of the drums. Place your hoop over the drum head, attach the tension rods and screw them in with finger tight tension. Also make sure to place the drum on a chair or soft surface to mute the opposite drum head when tuning. So variation number one, I call this the quick method to tune your drum. Basically, we've got two heads on this drum, they're loosely put on and you've put the tension rods about finger tight. So as you can see, everything's slack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time how quickly I can tune this drum and I'll talk you through how I do it. So here's the stopwatch, let's go. What I do is I push in the center of the drum and I just iron out the kinks. And the kinks being all these crinkly bits at the side of the drum. Now this is a coated head, so as you can see it's a bit difficult to see the kinks. So I maintain a little bit of pressure with my finger on the middle of the drum and I just iron out these kinks. And if you notice, I'm not even turning the key that much. I just want to make sure all the kinks are out. This feels a bit loose. Okay, I'm going to turn the head drum over. Oh, there goes the stopwatch. Okay, so I've turned the drum over. This is exactly the same as the bottom head was. I've just got these tension rods uh, finger tight. So if I push into the drum, there's some kinks here and you can hear it's, it's not tuned. So if I push into the center of the drum, not too hard, just enough, and I start to iron out these kinks. Try and do opposites if you can. You wanna try and keep it even as possible. But for this method, it doesn't really matter as long as you get all the kinks out. Okay, and, and here, and okay, just check, maybe a bit here. What I do is just check around the rim here with my finger, just to see if there's a kink rubbing underneath. Oh, that sounds fine. Okay, uh, that's it. So let's stop the clock. So that is about, well, let's say two minutes, give or take a few seconds. Now let's hear it. Sounds like a drum to me. Okay, variation two of how to tune your drums. What we're gonna do is start like we did before. So this drum is dead on that side and on that side as well. So I'm going to tune this drum high pitched, at a higher pitch, which you'll probably find a lot of jazz drummers have very high pitch sounding drums. And I'm gonna show you what I listen for when I tune up high. Same as we did before, let's get the kinks out of the drum. So we do the bottom head first. And that sound doesn't sound too bad actually, but I want to go higher in pitch. So it's much like if you've ever tuned a guitar, the guitar will go uh, guitar string, the guitar will go do 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 or even like a piano when you play an octave so you maybe start at C and go all the notes up to the top. We're trying to get that sound with the drum. You'll hear it anyway. So what we'll do is I, I tap as I tune the drum up lightly.
Come on. And it's almost the top of what the, sh you, the skin will go. If you go beyond this, it'll start to choke. You will hear a difference. But that's about as high as the head wants to go. And the note is ding, one note. Okay, so that's the bottom head. So we do exactly the same for the top. So just get the kinks out. So we listen for the note. It's wobbling a bit, ooh, 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 ooh. so you just need to tighten that up slightly. That's about in the ballpark. Now let's, let's have a listen. That's probably about as high as you want it. And this will be the third variation of tuning your toms. I call this the pitch bend tuning. And what I will do is I will tension the bottom head tighter than the top head so that we get a pitch bend doom kind of sound. So like before, dead head. Okay. So start again, get the kinks out one more time. I don't think there's any kinks, no kinks. Good. Now this is a good place to start. Now we're going to tune it like we did the high pitched in the previous variation variation. So now it's not quite as high as it was before, but it's, it's, it's almost like an octave below what I did before. It's still high pitched, still quite high. Um, but as you can tell, the note is one note. Okay. Now let's tune the batter head. We're going to tune this head just like the quick tuning method. So I'm just going to iron out the kinks. Right, let's try that. Down. those of you who are new to drumming, do check out my free report, The 5 Deadly Mistakes Beginner Drummers Make That Can Cost You Thousands. The link is in the description below. Okay, next on this drum tuning tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to tune the snare. The quickest way to tune the snare that I've found is to keep a drumstick resting on the rim here underneath the snare wires. So it keeps the snare wires away from the bottom head. So you just push in the middle, just tighten up. Opposites if you can. And sometimes when there's no kink, it means that you don't have to tension so hard, if, it, if at all. There's the starting, let's go. Actually, we're going to crank it up more than you'd think. So you, if you think, oh, no, this is too high, with the snare drum in particular, it's usually about right. So just use your ears and just try and get that note again at the top. Nearly. 
Okay, so that's a good place to start with the bottom side of the snare. So let's crank him up. Try that. It's a little bit ringy. If I mute that, doesn't sound too bad. Personally, I like it a bit higher. So we're looking for almost like an octave up. Try that. And you can always tell if a snare's in tune because the sensitivity of the snares. So if I hit lightly, the snares are still working. And if I hit towards the edge, snares also work. So I'd leave it there. I, it's got a nasty ring to it at the minute, so I would get some moon gel perhaps, or some gaffer tape. And I would place it just there, a bit from the edge, an inch or two from the edge. And let's listen to that. And that's how I tune a snare. And if you want to know how to get a big fat snare sound, check out the link below. And if you want to get different sounds out of one snare drum, check out this video here. And finally, with this drum tuning tutorial, I'll show you how to tune the bass drum. Generally, people want a punchy sound with their bass drum, so just push in the center of the drum like we've been doing on the other ones, but this time, we don't want to iron out the kinks entirely. We want to push down just enough and then just start to iron out the kinks. So we're turning just gently, just enough so that the kinks only just disappear. There you are, some down here at the bottom. There we go. And that's about it if you want a punchy sound out of your bass drum. And it's the same with the front head. Also, if the bass drum is ringing too much, then you want to put some padding inside just gently against the drum head so that you can control the sound. Now, if you want more of a jazzy or a tone from the bass drum, tension the drum head up and then we can tune it like we did the drums. The other drums. From there you can obviously fine tune, you can obviously adjust anything you like. This is not set in stone, these are just three variations of how to tune how to tune the drum kit. Hope this helps. And if you'd like to book an online drum lesson with me, check out benwoolacott.com. Do remember to subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications bell, and I'll see you next time.